So guys, I've got a bit of an interesting video for you today. Um, I've been fooling around with what the, what you would call um, an extension tube. They come in various sizes from different third party manufacturers um, for the RF mount. Now, what you could do with uh, one of these extension tubes is grind out some of the plastic, fit a 1.4 extender on your camera and then put the um, extension tube on to cover the protruding element of the actual extender and then attach that to your RF 100 500 because if many of you guys may, might be familiar with the RF um, 100 500 but when you put a 1.4 extender on you can't zoom back all the way to 100 millimeters it's fixed the element sticks out you see and you can't zoom back beyond 300 millimeters but I've achieved something that I suspect no one has achieved I've managed to get the RF lens to go back to 135 millimeters on the lens and just to prove it guys let me just show you so here you can see this lens right the 300 point is there right it says 200 millimeters there and I can zoom back as far as that to just under 135 millimeters um, is that focus brilliant? no <laughs> it's a bit hit and miss indoors and you're going to lose infinity focus for definite um, but it's interesting that it even works um, just look at that guys, look, look look how much it's it's not sticking out by. Now if I put 300 on there where it would be restricted, the massive difference in there, now if I zoom it back to 135, just under, look at that. You want you wouldn't have thought it were possible, would you? Um autofocus does function. Um in a darkly, darkly lit room like this it's not going to be great but what will be interesting is in good sunlight how will it perform right ladies and gentlemen i thought i'd just show you this jjc automatic extension tube um so it comes in two parts one part is in 11 mil and another part is 16 mil giving you obviously a total of 27 millimeter it allows you to reduce your minimum focus so just briefly it might I, I was able to reduce the minimum focus of the 800 rf lens um from six meters to about four and a half meters so it can be useful i did find it a little bit on the slow side on that particular lens but what i'm trying to do is to try and figure out can we use an extender with this on the RF 100 to 500 lens so obviously that's the the main component there um, this is one of the bits that I haven't taken apart here I have another piece that I have and I've dis disassembled it into its main plastic component and let me just get the RF a uh, adapter you know the extender um, as you know a piece of it actually protrudes now it won't quite fit I don't know if you can see that in the video hopefully you can it won't quite fit in there it's just not it, the hole isn't big enough however what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this down and see if we can do that some people have done a similar hack online um, with third party ones like this one um, and I'm going to see if we can possibly fit this on the RF lens with the extender and will we be able to retain a full autofocus from 100 to 500 yes we're going to lose infinity focus but it might be worth it just to see if it if it's possible doing this um, so I've disassembled it into its main components so obviously that's the plastic bit here is, I think that's the uh, back plate. As you can see, that's the uh, mount. It's chrome. 
that's the top bit and that's obviously a mount as well um, so you can connect your uh, um, thing onto uh, a lens and um, that's just like a dampening plast um, bit of thin zinc metal that goes underneath the top plate and then we have our connection bits here and all the all these bits in here that you're seeing in here uh, are tiny very tiny um like copper um attachments that go in the these holes here that you can see in there um so i've deconstructed it because i want to see if we can get the rf lens um the extender to fit onto this so without further ado let me sand this down so what I've got hold of is like a cheap version of a um, Dremel this is called a Go OX AUE uh, picked it up for about I think it was £30, £33 off Amazon so without further ado let's sand that and I'll show you that when I've finished so ladies and gentlemen I thought I'd just show you Basically, the big hole I managed to carve out of this um, extension tube, which you can see there. Um, and I'll just show you how it would go over the actual element, like so. As you can see, it just about fits. Um, and that's what I managed to achieve. Um, and it's pretty much level as well. There's, if I put my finger on there, as you can see, there's, there's only a slight bump. And it's very very flat um so i just wanted to show you that um if we just turn it over as you can see that's more or less how it would fit on um can you see that guys it doesn't protrude that was the idea obviously the autofocus of the actual uh, camera um doesn't perform as you would like um, so I would call this a failed experiment. experiment. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I've adapted the 100-500 RF lens with a JJC extension tube. I've hollowed it out um, with like a Dremel tool and managed to fit the 1.4 extender on. Um, so I wanted to show you the limitations of obviously this, this little project. Um, and... Hopefully you find this video informative. So, um, I've set the lens to 300 millimeters and I have the full range of focusing. It's in manual focus at the moment and it seems to work fine with no major problems, as you can see. Um, however, if let, let's just move, uh, zoom the lens a little bit back to 200 millimeters. So I'm set to 200 millimeters. And I'm still able to focus on uh, that polish can just about at 200 millimeters. We're about about two and a half meters away, approximately. Um, like I've said, it, you're going to lose infinity focus with this um, adaption. However, there there has been an issue I have noticed um, when I've been doing this. Um, which is when I bring the lens back to 135 millimeters, which is more or less what I can achieve. Just bring that lens back there. Um, and then we try and manually adjust the focus so you guys can see it. Um, as you can see, I'm having a hard time actually getting that to come into focus. So it would appear that focusing capability with this um, mod is quite limited so I, th I think the the extender is it's workable um, at shorter distances but but uh, it's going to be more related to macro photography I think than say anything out in the field you know do, dealing with any sort of distances so let's see if I moved that polishing can a bit forward a little bit. So as you can see, I've managed to focus on that polished can in my living room 
with the 100 to 500 with the adapted lens and we are at 135 millimeters with the extension tube hollowed out to allow the 1.4 extender to fit. Um, I know it's not a very useful video this but I thought it'd be an interesting experiment to see if it's actually possible to you know put a, an extension tube on there to allow the the RF uh, 1.4 extender to fit on there to allow us to cut, draw it back to 135 millimeters, and it is possible. Um, it's up to you guys if you think it's it's a very useful video this or not. Um, but I thought I'd just show you it really. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you like videos like this. So, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this video. Quite an interesting little project, I thought, to try and figure out, is it possible to put a 1.4 extender on the 100 RF lens and be able to zoom back to 100 millimeters? Obviously, I could do that in this um, attempt here. Um, but I did manage to get it back to 135.